What's up everyone? Welcome back to ARTV. Today I'm going to be revealing my entire CD collection, showing you all 350 plus of my actual CDs. I know that might seem bizarre to some of you, especially younger viewers, like why a CD? I'll talk about that as I go through the collection, but honestly, I just made my entire vinyl collection video. I had a lot of the CD collectors in the audience saying, where's the CD update, John? Here it is. They're always behind me in the videos, so it's time to break down each and every one of them very quickly. Retround were kind enough to sponsor this video, so a major thank you to them for helping support the channel. I know we're talking about my CD collection today, but y'all know I got a huge vinyl collection too. A lot of you watching might be new to the world of collecting, and if you need a sensible, stylish way to store your vinyl, then Retround's vintage leather storage cases are the way to go. Each case comes with a handle so it's easy to move your music from room to room, and it can hold up to 45 different records. Their leather cases come in a variety of different colors, so it's easy peasy lemon squeezy to match it up to the style of your room or your house. Click my custom link in the description of this video or else the pinned comment and save extra on Amazon with the coupon that appears on screen. They also have wooden crates available for your records if that's more your style. I can't wait to put mine together just as soon as I learn how to use a screwdriver. I'm also partnering with them to give away one of these cool leather vinyl storage cases, so if you want to win that and you live anywhere on the planet Earth, like this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and comment down below telling me you want it along with a social media handle so we can contact you. Good luck, and now onwards to my CD collection, which, oddly enough, these cases actually do a great job at holding CDs, too. All right, now it's time to move on to the actual CD collection. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Drop a like on it if you do enjoy it. Keep in mind that everything that I have here, it's my own personal collection. I don't intentionally buy albums that I don't like all that much, and I don't own everything out there. I don't buy a ton of CDs anymore, but still, it's an important medium to me, a very high quality. I do like that about the CD. I still burn some to my computer, so let me know your thoughts on my collection in the comments and let's get going. The Aces, Volcanic Love, Adele, 25, AFI, December Underground, AFI Burials. I have several albums by the pop punk band All Time Low. Here is their EP, Put Up or Shut Up. I also have So Wrong, It's Right. I have Nothing Personal here. This is a nice one that kind of slides out. And then I also have their album Dirty Work in addition to the album Don't Panic. And finally, from All Time Low, I have their 2015 record, Future Hearts. The All-American Rejects, Move Along, Alt-J, An Awesome Wave, and This Is All Yours, Alter Bridge, Fortress, Angels and Airwaves, Love Part 1 and 2, Ariana Grande, Yours Truly, and Dangerous Woman, Atlas Genius, When It Was Now, a very underrated album. Somehow I only have one Avenged Sevenfold CD in its City of Evil. I have Avril Lavigne's first three albums, Let Go, Under My Skin, and The Best Damn Thing. Fun fact, this was the first CD CD that I ever owned. This was when I was like 11 or 10 years old. It's the Beach Boys' greatest hits. Balance and Composure, The Things We Think We're Missing. Ballyhoo, Daydreams. Beach House, Teen Dream, and Thank You Lucky Stars. Beartooth, Disgusting. This was a gift from long ago, but it's the Beatles' one, all of their number one hits, the greatest hits. I have Midnight Vultures and Morning Phase by Beck. Best Coast, Crazy For You. Beyonce, Lemonade. The Black Keys, Brothers and El Camino. Of course, I've got plenty of CDs, by Blink-182. Here's Cheshire Cat. We've also got Enema of the State, which recently turned 20 years old. That's wild to me. We have Take Off Your Pants and Jacket, the untitled record right here as well. The deluxe edition of Neighborhoods, because to me, this is honestly really the only edition of the album that makes sense. And then, of course, California. From one of my favorite bands, brand new, we have Deja, Nintendo, The Devil, and God Are Raging Inside Me, Daisy, and then their final album, Science Fiction. Brandon Flowers, The Desired Effect, Breathe Carolina, Hello Fascination. Can you tell that I'm more of a fan of the newer Bring Me the Horizon stuff? We've got Simp Eternal, That's the Spirit, and Amo, Bruno Mars, Unorthodox Jukebox, Born Dopamine, the first two records by Boston Manor, Be Nothing, and Welcome to the Neighborhood. I've got this gem of an album, Boxcar Racer, When is Part 2 Coming, Please? Bush, 16 Stone, Cage the Elephant, Thank You, Happy Birthday, and Melophobia, Carly Rae Jepsen, Emotion, and Emotion Side B. Yes, indeed, that is a signature from Carly Rae herself that you see right there. Catfish and the Bottleman, The Balcony, Cell Dweller, Wish Upon a Black Star, Chairlift, Moth, 
From the pop artist Charlie XCX, I have her debut album True Romance and Sucker, Charlie Bliss, Guppy, The Chemical Brothers, Born in the Echoes, Childish Gambino, Camp and Because the Internet, which I love this holographic cover on here and it also kind of opens up in a very cool way, Chiodos Devil, Churches, The Bones of What You Believe and Every Open Eye, Citizen, As You Please, and yes, as you can see, it's signed by all members of the band. We met them at Boston Calling. Cloud Nothings, Here and Nowhere Else. I own all of Coldplay's albums on CD, so here's Parachutes, A Rush of Blood to the Head, X and Y, Viva La Vida, or Death and All His Friends, my personal favorite, Milo Xyloto, Ghost Stories, which is definitely underrated, and then as of now, their final album, maybe there'll be another one in the future, but a head full of dreams. Underrated and underappreciated, the only two albums by The Crash Kings, their self-titled album in Dark of the Daylight, I supported them on Kickstarter, so I got a signed copy of this one. Creeper, Eternity in Your Arms. Courtney Barnett, Sometimes I Sit and Think, Sometimes I Just Sit. Daft Punk, Random Access Memories. A Day to Remember, Common Courtesy. The Dead Weather, Crash and Burn. Death Cab for Cutie, Kintsugi. Death from Above, 1979. The Physical World, DNCE's self-titled album, Ed Sheeran, Multiply, another one of my really, really old CDs, Eminem, Curtain Call, The Hits, Eminem, Kamikaze, Ellie Golding, Lights, and my personal favorite, Halcyon, Escape the Fates, self-titled album, Everything, Everything, Get to Heaven. I've got plenty of Fall Out Boy albums on CD. I just recently got Take This to Your Grave. We've got From Under the Cork Tree here, and of course, this was one of the first Fall Out Boy albums that I ever listened to, Infinity on High. I remember buying this like the day after it came out fully ado got that for my 17th birthday I believe and then American Beauty American Psycho Father John Misty I love you honey bear yeah bet you didn't know this but I'm a pretty big Fiona Apple fan but you bet your ass that I'm not even gonna start to try and list all of these super long album names except for like Extraordinary Machine and Title, and Essential Fleetwood Mac Rumors, Florence and the Machine, How Big, How Blue, How Beautiful. From the Foo Fighters, I have The Color and the Shape, their Greatest Hits album, and my favorite album, Wasting Light, Foster the People, Torches and Supermodel. Here is the self-titled album by Four Years Strong. This one takes me back. The Fray, How to Save a Life, Fun, Some Nights, Gerard Way, Hesitant Alien, The Glitch Mob, Drink the Sea. You guys know I'm a massive Green Day fan, so it's time to get to the CDs. Dookie, Insomniac. Nimrod, Warning, American Idiot, also American Idiot, except this one is a lyric book. The CD comes with this one. It's got all of the lyrics in there. I got this one years later, and it's kind of a collector's item. I already had the original, I know, but still, this is worth getting. Bullet in a Bible, this is a CD and DVD, the live album from Green Day, of course. 21st Century Breakdown, another live album, Awesome as Fuck. This was a box set that I pre-ordered before Green Day's trilogy came out. It also includes Quattro. It's a very high quality box. I actually really do love this, even though I'm not the hugest fan of the trilogy. They kind of come in the lyric booklets, like what I showed you with American Idiot. They all fold out like that have extra pictures and stuff like that scattered throughout. Some of you may have never seen Quattro, so here that is. There's a DVD in there. Finally, we have Revolution Radio. This comes with the lyric book. Once again, this was a pre-order. It was a little pricey, but I'd say it's worth it because, I mean, Green Day are my favorite band, so of course, I wanted to get this, and the CD is tucked right into the back. Grizzly Bear, Painted Ruins. This album really surprised me. A very soothing record for me. Apparently, I still have four good Charlotte albums. I didn't even realize that when I started recording, but here is The Young and The Hopeless, The Chronicles of Life and Death, Cardiology, and Their Greatest Hits. Gorillas, Humans, Making Mirrors by Gautier, Group Love, Never Trust a Happy Song, Hyams, debut album Days Are Gone, Hailstorm, The Strange Case Of, easily their best album in my eyes, the self-titled debut solo album by Harry Styles, the only Hollywood Undead album I still own, Swan Songs, signed copies of the All-American EP and People Keep Talking by my pal Hoodie Allen, Hot Mulligan, Pilot, Iggy Pop, Post-Pop Depression, Incubus, Morning View, and Their Greatest Hits album, Monuments and Melodies. El Pintor by Interpol. I own all of Jack White's solo albums to date, so here's Blunderbuss. We also have Lazaretto. I love the way that this record feels. It's just fantastic. If you own it, then you know what I'm talking about. I also have the acoustic recordings from 1998 to 2016. Once again, the feel of this is fantastic. Even the sticker on this one, I love how it opens up. We've got multiple discs, and this is just such a smooth listen from start to finish. And then, Boarding House Reach. Jimmy Eat World, Futures. Joey Badass, All-American Badass, with a slide-out case, a nice cover on the front there. Hey, we got back-to-back -back slide outs. I can see why they covered this one up, though. It's John Mayer's Continuum. Also from John Mayer, I have Battle Studies. The Joyful 
formidable Wolf's Law. Julian Baker, sprained ankle. From country artist Casey Musgraves, I have same trailer, different park, and pageant material. I do have her album Golden Hour as well, but I realized when I started recording this video that I lent it to my dad. Showing rapper Kendrick Lamar some love. I've got Good Kid, Mad City. In addition to To Pimp a Butterfly, we've got Untitled unmastered which is underrated i feel and also damn kesha rainbow from las vegas rock band the killers i have hot fuss sam's town day and age and wonderful wonderful four albums by the rock band kings of leon youth and young manhood because of the times only by the night which is their most successful to date and walls the self-titled debut album by kitten the Knox 55 corn the paradigm shift larue trouble in paradise lady gaga the fame art pop and joanne led zeppelin 2 the debut self-titled ep by lights who was at the time definitely more of a scene queen as you can see from the artwork here lily allen it's not me it's you i own every single lincoln park album so dating back to their first release we have hybrid theory then we have Meteora, which is really important to me. This is one of my prized possessions. This is signed by every single member of the band, including Chester Bennington. A fan sent this to me a long time ago. This is Collision Course, Jay-Z and Linkin Park, the mashup album that is actually really, really good. We have Minutes to Midnight, which is the first album that I was actually a fan for, like when it was coming out, which is definitely cool, definitely not my favorite, but still. Then we have A Thousand Suns, one that grew on me immensely. Living Things that came out in 2012. I don't know why that was upside down. And then The Hunting Party, which is another fantastic album. And then what possibly could be their final album, One More Light. London Grammar, Truth is a Beautiful Thing. The Lonely Island, Turtleneck and Chain. Lord's two perfect albums, Pure Heroin and Melodrama. From the indie band Lucius, I have Wilder Woman and Good Grief. Hey look, it's Madonna's debut self-titled album. Two amazing albums in my hands right now, The Main's American Candy and Lovely Little Lone. Magic Wands, Aloha Moon, Manchester Orchestra, Mean Everything to Nothing, and Simple Math. I also have Cope by Manchester Orchestra. Marina and the Diamonds, Fruit. The only Maroon 5 album I own, and it's because it was on sale at Target for $2.99 a few years back. This is Songs About Jane. Matchbook Romance, Voices. Microwave, Much Love. Mike Shinoda, Post Traumatic. MGMT, Little Dark Age. Ordinary Silence by Mixtapes. Modern Baseball, Holy Ghost. The EP, Outgrown Things by Movements. Mumford and Sons. Babel. Here's a fat stack of Muse albums for you. I have Origin of Symmetry, Absolution, and then of course my first album that ever got me into them, Black Holes and Revolution. And then we have an album that I wasn't as crazy about, The Resistance, and then The Second Law, which is definitely underrated, and Drones. Mute Math, Odd Soul, and Play Dead. Look, don't call me a fake fan, but I don't have My Chemical Romance's debut album on CD, so no bullets. I have it on vinyl already, but I have Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge, the Black Parade, Danger Days, The True Lives of the Fabulous Killjoys, including the sticker right here that I decided to place there apparently, and then May Death Never Stop You, The Greatest Hits. Oh yeah, I forgot I have this too. You can't even really tell on camera because it's so white, but it's the Black Parade slash Living With Ghosts, that other thing that they put out for like the 10th anniversary. The Naked and Famous, Passive Me, Aggressive You. Neck Deep, Life's Not Out To Get You. The Neighborhood, I Love You. Oh, hell yeah, Nickelback, All The Right Reasons. Nine Inch Nails, The Downward Spiral. Nirvana, Nevermind, and Unplugged in New York. Tragic Kingdom, Return to Saturn, and Rocks. Steady by No Doubt. Nothing More, the self-titled album. The first two albums by the UK band Nothing But Thieves, who were actually really awesome. This is the self-titled and Broken Machine. Now Now, Threads, signed by all of the band members at the time. I got this at their album show back in like 2012. The Offspring, Days Go By. Hissing Fauna, Are You the Destroyer by Of Montreal. I've got way more of these than some people would probably think, but yeah, these are all Owl City albums dating back to his first EP of June. Then we have the original version of Maybe I'm Dreaming, the one that I definitely prefer. I like this album cover here. We have Ocean Eyes, of course, and then my personal favorite, All Things Bright and Beautiful, and then The Midsummer Station. While I have more on vinyl, I've only got three Panic at the Disco CDs. This is a fever you can't sweat out. Vices and Virtues, unfortunately only the standard edition with none of the awesome bonus tracks, and then Too Weird to Live, Too Rare to Die. Cue the opening riffs to Misery Business because it's all of my Paramore CDs next. We've got All We Know is Falling, and then Riot, 
and then my personal favorite brand new eyes and then the self-titled album and then wow we're getting really awkward with the hand holding here but there's after laughter pearl jam 10 pierce the veil collide with the sky and misadventures portugal the man evil friends and woodstock from canadian punk band pup we have the dream is over purity ring another eternity i've got all the queens of the stone age albums except for era vulgaris so here is the self-titled which is the most recent addition to my collection and then we have Rated R, the blue version, the vinyl is red, I believe. And then we have a used copy that I got of Songs for the Deaf. And then, of course, Lullabies to Paralyze, who could forget that awesome record. And then we have Like Clockwork, a big comeback for them that was just phenomenal. And then their most recent album as of recording this video, Villains. Radiohead, A Moon-Shaped Pool. Red Hot Chili Peppers, Stadium Arcadium, which this, of course, being two discs, looks very cool once you actually pop it open. You got Jupiter and Mars there. We've got The Greatest Hits and also The Getaway. Reliant K, mm-hmm, and Forgetting Not Slow Down. Remo Drive, Greatest Hits. Robert DeLong and The Cards. Royal Blood, self-titled album, and How Did We Get So Dark. Run the Jewels 2 and Run the Jewels 3, Ran Weaver, The Fool, Scary Kids, Scaring Kids, The City Sleeps in Flames, Holding On to Strings, Better Left to Fray by Seether, The Sound of Madness and Amaryllis by Shinedown, Here's Swoon and Neck of the Woods by Silver Sun Pickups, Sky Ferreira, Nighttime My Time, oops, I should probably censor that, Skrillex, Scary Monsters and Nice Sprites and Bangarang, Slater Kenny, No Cities to Love, Treats and Bitter Rivals by Sleigh Bells, Slipknot, Point Five, The Grey Chapter, Soccer Mommy, Clean, Spoon, Hot Thoughts, The Self-Titled album by St. Vincent, The Story So Far, Proper Dose, The Strokes, Is This It, and Angles, The Struts, Everybody Wants, Sum 41, All Killer No Filler, and Screaming Bloody Murder, Surfer Blood, Pythons, Oh My, So Many Switchfoot Albums, The Beautiful Letdown, Nothing Is Sound, Hello Hurricane, and Vice Versus, Drive North by Swimmers, From System of a Down, I have the Hypnotize Mesmerize 2-pack, and I've heard some people ask me where I got this when I showed it off in the past, and it is really, really cool, I like how the attached here, so I don't know, maybe I got lucky by picking this up. Taking Back Sunday, Louder Now, the self-titled album, and Happiness Is. Sessions presents John's Basic White Girl Side. That's right, it's my Taylor Swift collection here, y'all. We got the self-titled album, we got Fearless right here. All right, after that, we had the famous album Speak Now, which is my personal favorite. We have Red, and then also 1989. Notably absent is Reputation. Tame Impala, Lonerism and Currents. They Might Be Giants, I Like Fun. This was a gift from my patron, Andrew. Childhood Favorites, Three Days Grace are up next. I've got their self-titled 1X and Life Starts Now. 30 Seconds to Mars, A Beautiful Lie. Tevlo, Queen of the Clouds. Trash Boat, Crown Shyness. From 21 Pilots, I have Vessel. I have Blurry Face, which of course I really like the CD copy of because it opens up and it's got the whole, you know, it's got that whole CD that's apparently falling out of the case right now. And then Trench, The Used, Vulnerable. Vinyl Theater, Origami. The Voids, Virtue. Walk the Moon, self-titled album and Talking is Hard. Water Parks, Double Dare. I've got a few CDs from Weezer. I've got The Blue Album, Pinkerton, Everything Will Be All Right in the End, and The White Album. The Weeknd, Beauty Behind the Madness. The White Stripes, White Blood Cells, Elephant, Get Behind Me Satan, and also Icky Thump. Of course, if you watch this channel, you probably know of my love for Wolf Alice, but we have My Love is Cool, their amazing debut album, and the great follow-up, Visions of a Life. From the English indie band The XX, I have their self-titled album, and I See You. Yellow Card, When You're Through Thinking, Say Yes, and Southern Air. Young the Giant, the self-titled album, and Home of the Strange. Oh boy, yeah, I still got this one, 303 Want. Zed, True Colors, this is definitely an underrated producer electronic album. And finally, to bring it all home, we have the self-titled album by the 1975, and my album of the year for 2016, I like it when you sleep, for you were so beautiful, yet so unaware of it. Well, that took forever and a day to film, so I do hope that you guys enjoyed seeing my entire CD collection, more than 350 CDs. If you did, then help me get this video to a thousand likes. I appreciate you watching. If you would like to help support my channel on Patreon, then hit the top link in the description or else the annotation in the corner. My entire vinyl collection is right here waiting for your eyes to see it, or you can watch it again if you really want to, or you can see another video that I recently posted on the channel right over here. Socials in the description and I'll see you soon for more on ARTV.